back here. This is Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon in Minas, Uruguay. Interesting note here, I, uh, I was watching this morning a half an hour YouTube video like called like something like Life in Uruguay by this New Yorker who I guess was born in Uruguay and moved away when he was six. And, uh, he, you know, he's, I guess he, he has business in Montevideo, so he's driving around Montevideo uh, doing his thing and he's just explaining everything that is different about Uruguay and a lot of stuff that he doesn't like But you can also tell like he's just like a normal He's a pretty pretty normal New Yorker who's simply like comparing it and then you know in the comments section you get this Obviously this Uruguayan. I'm, I don't know if it was a man or a woman and they're just like clearly so enraged by his criticisms of the country You know, part of um, part of this this guy's complaints was essentially, um, you know, he's coming from, a, you know, the super capitalist, fast-paced life of New York, where if you work hard, you're rewarded, and that seemed to be the root of a lot of his problems. Where that's just simply not the case in this country, and how everything comes with more of a, a socialist bent. Uh, there's a lot more taxes. There's a lot more. Uh, it seems like there's a lot more social assistance and then especially if you own a business this guy was saying that you're just paying so much money if you decide to uh, if you decide to fire somebody if they're not good you're, you're paying them off so much money uh, and then just you know for example like there's a lot of topics he covered that I had talked about in previous videos but I ended up deleting them because I just didn't you know I didn't want to be a negative Nancy but the reality is here the economy kind of I don't think it's the strongest and I was basing that logic on because everything was so expensive. But this guy made me understand, like, well, he said that the reason everything's so expensive is because of the taxes. Like, for example, it's three Canadian dollars for, like, a loaf of bread. And we're not talking about, you know, for folks back in Toronto, we're not talking about a nice loaf of Wonder Bread. We're talking about about, like, half that. And then it's three dollars for... 10 eggs <laughs> not 12 eggs i bought a carton of 10 eggs for three bucks everything is, is more expensive and this guy was saying it's because of all the taxes so my question is where is all that tax money going another thing that i edited out in one of my previous videos about montevideo was you have all this that that this guy said too you have all this grand amazing architecture that simply isn't kept up and my first thought was, oh my god, they must have gone on like these crazy building sprees when, when the country had money, assumingly back in the 30s or 40s, and then eventually they just were just like, okay, we're not going to keep them up. But, you know, they, they, we, we cannot forget that this is just, it's such a beautiful, wonderful country, you know? It's, the first time I came here, I was just awestruck at the, the beauty, especially in the countryside. station and there's this little bar over there that is so old school all right so uh, there's your railway doesn't really look like it's still in order no clearly it's not so maybe they're just yeah maybe they just don't work anymore
los, los trenes son en, en servicio en este año o no? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. ¿Cuándo fue trenes para pasajeros? Hace años. Hace años. Sí, sí. ¿Noventas o ochenta? Sí, casi no, noventa. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Cool. Alright. So here's this place. Talking to this dude here, and uh, I was like, "Are you gonna make a fire out of that?" And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "When it gets colder, it's bigger." This is gonna be a huge fire. Nice. It's Alfajor de las Sierras de Minas in like every shop. So it looks like this guy sells a ton, I guess. Unless they're made here. That would be pretty cool if they're made here. I'm definitely gonna buy some. We got uh, individuals here. So, I just bought one. They have boxes of six, but it's the same price per per alpha whore, so they're, they're, not, they're not offering you any deal. But this is like, this. these kind of products are, that's like the ingenuity that tourists are looking for, right? That those like really cool kind of like artisanal stuff. And, um, Unfortunately, it appears that there's not a lot of that here. Like, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to test this alpha whore out. Um, I don't even want to know how many calories is in this bad boy. Like, <laughs> it's gotta be like 400, right there. 400, 500, but whatever. All right. Yo. Got the tea. 
And I got this. All right, Wednesday here. Um, a lot of rain all today. Never made it to, uh, never made it on my walk. Instead, today, right now, I'm going to the house of Horacio Chocho, a older gentleman here who runs an exhibit in his house of basically like little model like steam engines and all kinds of different stuff like bre model bread factories and they actually like function like he uses um he uses like air pressure to and they actually like function it's uh he gave me a sneak peek and then now i'm gonna go back to the full tour and it's pretty cool before this i ate an absolute belly buster uh, a napolitana sandwich which was basically like this is just it's not the most healthy thing ever but i figured you know what i'm gonna eat one a slab of beef breaded breaded slab of beef um a a slice of ham a slice of mozzarella cheese melted on that sort of like pizza sauce dabbed and spread all over that an egg on top of that put two slices of bread around it and even add some mayonnaise so we're just looking at an absolute artery stopper but um it was really good and now i i won't eat for for days I'm just not gonna eat anything you see look at him look he's so afraid just so cute it's the cutest thing i've ever seen okay so Máquinas Vehículas Herramientas Horacio Chocho Expone. Hola, Horacio. Bien. Estoy tomando un video en vivo. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Tu perro es muy lindo. Ah, pero ya viniste descargado. Psst, psst. Come here. Come on. Oh, Psst. Looney? Looney. Come on. Looney. Looney, vamos. vamos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Terminal. Terminal.